The Trial of the Black Widow Between Fear and Fascination When night falls over the world and silence covers the earth like a thick blanket, there is a creature that patiently weaves the threads of its destiny. In the heart of the shadows, where human eyes hesitate to penetrate, the Black Widow keeps watch. Not with malice, but with the ancestral calm of someone who has inhabited the planet for millions of years. Her name, however, carries a weight, a verdict that was imposed on her long before any fair trial. She is not just a spider. She is a symbol. She is an archetype. She is fear clothed in mystery. The fame of the Black Widow was not born from biology, but from the human imagination. With her coal-black body and iconic red hourglass-shaped mark, she has become an icon of deadly seduction a femme fatale of nature. In whispered tales, urban legends, films and metaphors, she is the devourer of lovers, the cold-blooded killer, the incarnation of desire followed by destruction. But is this really so? Behind the mythology lies a deeper, rawer, truer, and perhaps even more powerful story. Scientists who study the Black Widow know that her behavior is not the result of cruelty, but of necessity. Nature does not care about moral judgments. Survival demands difficult choices. And in the world of spiders, where mating can cost one's life, the Black Widow's drama is, in fact, a spectacle of ruthless evolutionary strategies. The male, in seeking the female, is not an innocent victim. He enters her web knowing the risks, feeling the vibrations of her presence, performing an ancient dance of seduction and prudence. He courts with his body, with the invisible signals that run through the silk threads like notes of a song that only the two of them understand. And even when he is accepted, he walks towards a known destiny. During copulation, his reproductive organ often ruptures, remaining inside the female. This is no accident, it is an evolutionary strategy to maximize his chances of passing on his genes. When he dies, the male becomes food. A gesture that, to our eyes, may seem barbaric, but in the game of life represents pure efficiency. His death nourishes future offspring, his descendants. The Black Widow does not kill him for pleasure. She devours him to survive, to continue. This is where myth and reality meet. What culture sees as perverse lust, biology reveals as sacrifice. What we call betrayal, nature calls the perpetuation of the species. Perhaps the Black Widow is not the villain, but the mirror of an uncomfortable truth. Life is beautiful, yes, but it is also brutal. In the female who devours the male after mating, we see reflected the fundamental dilemmas of existence. Love and death, pleasure and loss, perpetuation and disappearance. The Black Widow reminds us that nature is not made of goodness or evil, but of balance, and that often this balance requires tragic endings so that new beginnings can emerge. And so, in the darkness of her corner, as she silently waits for the next cycle, the Black Widow remains, not as a killer, but as the guardian of a deep secret, that sometimes, Dying is just a more intense way of living. And perhaps that is why she fascinates us so much. Because, deep down, each of us also carries a red hourglass on our chest, reminding us that time is running out, and that, in the end, we all become part of the great invisible web of destiny.